teenagers. They're known for getting up late, avoiding homework, and being melodramatic. Hormones often get the blame, but they're not the only factor at play. They're just part of the incredible transformation going on inside the teenage brain. And by understanding that transformation, teachers can help teenagers as they transition into adulthood. Changes in two important systems in the brain are thought to create the stereotypical behaviours seen in teenagers. On the one hand, the prefrontal cortex is still slowly maturing. It's responsible for complex and abstract thoughts, for future planning and for controlling attention and behaviour. It's why teenagers are often impulsive without considering the consequences and seem to live in the moment, and why they often find it hard to plan ahead. When a teenager leaves home on a cold day without a coat or doesn't plan time for homework, it's because future needs or wants are difficult to put above the here and now. At the same time, deep structures in the brain that process emotions and rewards are affected by the hormonal changes of puberty. This can cause teenagers to be highly emotional and focus on things that give them instant gratification, like social interaction, sensation-seeking and risk-taking. It's why they crave time with their friends, why they're glued to their mobile phones and why they might try to break the rules. Teachers have a huge role to play in teenage brain development, whether that's helping teenagers with abstract concepts like algebra or supporting their emotional development. For example, teenagers can perform and learn better when immediate rewards are at stake and emotions are stimulated. The environment and culture they're surrounded by is also very important. It helps them develop their values and beliefs and their sense of who they are. Their heightened social sensitivity means leaders within peer groups can exert a big influence on others. Encouraging good behaviours in these leaders may promote learning and prevent bullying. It's also important to know that changes going on in the teenage brain can make them vulnerable. Many mental health problems, such as anxiety and depression, start during the teenage years. Helping teenagers find positive strategies to deal with emotions can support good mental health for the future. Because teenagers start to look like adults, it's easy to forget that they're still in a prolonged state of development. In fact, their brains continue to develop into their mid-twenties. Understanding how the teenage brain works and its impact on teenagers' interests and behaviour can really help inform teaching strategies.